I am a free-to-play player who selectively pulls for units and skips a lot of banners. So I thought it would be a fun idea to share who I have been using the most recently and why they've been so favored. And this might help some people with their decisions on who to pull for on a rerun. Obviously I'm not including Blade because that's pretty much a given that I use him on a daily basis. So Acheron is easily one of the most used units for me. I don't have Firefly or Face Shao, so Acheron's the only 2.0 or 2.x DPS that I have at the moment. Her overworld instant kill ability is such a time saver, and she also gives me a reason to craft 10 items every week for the weekly battle pass XP. I'm still salty about how poorly my pulls and relic RNG were. Basically I spent 220 summons on Acheron's banner and her light cone banner, and I only got a single copy of Acheron and no light cone. But I still use her in a lot of content like Stimulated Universe, MOC, Apocalyptic Shadow, and even in Pure Fiction. She's pretty much viable in every game mode. Okay, the next character is Ron May. So she's the first character outside of Blade that I went all in on, and I got her E1S1. Ron May is a unit I slot in when I'm not sure who else to use. She's just very plug and play. She has incredible team-wide buffs on top of weakness break efficiency and action delay, so it's a lot easier to survive tough fights and makes it so you can comfortably drop a sustain unit once you're strong enough to go for no sustain runs. Well, Ranmei technically becomes your sustain. Similar to Ranmei, Robin's another universal support that I ended up getting E1. And honestly, I let's just put it like this. Robin's an even more overtuned support than Ranmei. Branya and Sparkle dominated the early meta with their action advance. And then the Hoyo devs thought, it was a fair and balanced idea to release a character that could fully action advance the entire team. As if action advancing a single character wasn't enough already, they now made it so you can action advance your whole team. And honestly, when she released, I made a video showcasing how well she worked with Blade. And Blade can't even make use of Robin's attack buff for the most part. And that's a big part of her kit. That just goes to show how universal Robin actually is. And that's what's scary. Robin's performance at E0S0 rivals my Ron May's performance at E1S1, aside from the fact that the team's slightly more squishy with Robin. But the fact that Robin is so strong on a Blade team means she's just so much stronger on pretty much any other team where they can actually make use of her attack buff. And then if you have a follow-up team, then she gets even more value. And then they didn't just stop there, right? They didn't just stop at a team-wide action advance and insane buffs. They made it so that if you pull her E1, you get a straight up 24% team wide damage increase. And that's on top of her already loaded kit. That's just insane. So if you manage to get Robin E1, then congratulations, you just unlocked one team that can permanently clear one side of endgame content for the foreseeable future. She's incredible in all game modes because all game modes rely on cycle timers or action value timers. And then the fact that she can just action advance your entire team that's just so OP. Okay, the next one I think is an underrated unit because everyone knows how strong Robin is. So I'd like to pivot to a character I think that's super underrated and that character is Jade. Jade doesn't seem like a popular character at the moment, but she has been so much fun for me. I think in a lot of people's minds, Jade is a pure fiction only character and I don't think a lot of people struggle with pure fiction, so they probably skipped her. Honestly, that's fair. I don't think Jade is something that can bring a brand new account all the way up. She's definitely a character that can elevate an account to the next level. She makes Calyx clearing insanely fast. Pure fiction literally just becomes a joke, like no thought is involved. Unless you want to do like a zero cycle pure fiction clear because she makes that really really possible even for someone like me. And with E1, she is really strong in that MOC and Apocalyptic Shadow too. As a bonus, she pairs very well with Blade, and she also opens up a lot of fun team combinations with dual DPS setups. Especially if you have E1, you can pair with someone like Zila, you can pair with Fei Xiao, you can do a lot of fun things with her. The final unit is a 4 star character, and also the only sustain on the list. I have underestimated him in the past, but now that I actually have him built up, I can confirm that Gallagher is him. Gallagher is a staple unit for pretty much every free-to-play account. He applies a debuff so he can be used with Acheron. He does good toughness damage and has high break effect so he can be used with Firefly. 
He has built-in action advance and can carry quid pro quo, so he can be used to battery Robin as well as any other character that needs energy, like Firefly. And I think all you really need or all you really want is this E2 for the cleanse, and then you should be good to go. Like, I have E4 Gallagher, and he's already putting in work. So those are the units that I use the most at the moment. Let me know what characters you guys use the most and if any of them are the same as mine. I probably have a slightly skewed list because I'm a blade main. So a lot of the characters I pulled for were to buff up my blade. But I feel like units like Robin and Ron May, they're probably on a lot of people's lists just because of how universal they are.